I was always large. So I grew up that way, so it's not as if it was a, uh, a readily apparent change that I magically hit 35 and I put on 100 pounds. So I was always the big guy. I was always the funny guy. So, you know, is there things that we do in life to compensate for that? Yeah, 100%. Did you ever feel that you were being judged solely on what people were seeing on the outside? Um, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. But not, uh, I don't think it was um, people that knew you, knew you who, knew you for who you are. So they would, they would always judge you differently. Um, but people that meet you for the first time, yeah, definitely, there's no question about that, that I think they would automatically, and, it, and especially, you know, you go to sit on an airplane, and, uh, you know, all of a sudden, my, my shoulder is taking over half the seat beside me, or, you know, trying to buckle everything up. Yeah, it wasn't readily apparent, nothing was ever said, but you could feel, you know, the, the, the vibes, if you want to call it from the other person, there's no question about it. How much did you weigh at your heaviest and how much at my heaviest uh, yeah wow um, that was a big shocker I came in and uh, you know the scale weighed uh, or I should say the scale hit the uh, 360 pound mark and uh, that was a huge eye-opener um, you know I, I probably you know thought I was close to 300 but that 360 was a real uh, was a real eye-opener for me and then uh, how much do I weigh now? I, I have no idea. I haven't weighed myself in about six weeks. Um, I don't fixate on the weight. Um, I just, uh, like I said, it's a ride and where the ride takes me is, is going to be uh, the end result. But uh, the last time I, uh, I got on the scale, I think I was down uh, roughly 106, 107 pounds. I did the, the diets, I did the Atkins thing. and Yeah, it was great to eat steak and eggs and drink as much as I want. But at the end of the day, for me, um, you know, the analogy of a ride is great because for me it was a roller coaster. I'd lose 50 pounds, unfortunately, you know, I'd jump off the wagon as such and I'd gain 60 pounds. And then vice versa, I'd lose 60 and gain 75. And then again, um, at, the, at the end of it, that hitting that final mark of, for me, was 360. Um, you know, and if we look at that, that's almost come full circle, right? 360 degrees. Again, all of a sudden it's like, wow, what am I gonna do here? And then it was, there was a change there.